And a Duval County tradition made its return today. Thousands of kids got presents at the Children's Christmas Party of Jacksonville. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar was there as it happened in person for the first time since 2019. 24 years strong of Jacksonville's biggest one day toy giveaway. So big, Tina Daniels, along with her family and friends, camped out for more than 16 hours. And they were not alone. It means a lot. It means a lot that, you know, Jacksonville, Florida cares about us just that much to supply as much families as they can for people that can't, you know, um, for people that can't, you know, spend a lot of money on toys. The Children's Christmas Party of Jacksonville at the Prime Osborne Convention Center providing an option for kids to have presents under a tree this year. We're kind of bouncing back and forth since COVID, you know. Um, we've been going through situations, but um, we're making it, and this right here is going to help us even more. There are more than 18,000 toys to give away right down aisles, just like the one right behind me. Then, over in this box, there are more than 40,000 different novelty toys and bags like this. Right there. And more than 500 bikes, scooters, and wagons given out to lucky winners. Jacksonville First Lady Molly Curry on deck to hand them out. Yeah, I'm so grateful to be here and just to see their smile and see how happy the kids are to be able to share in this. More than 700 volunteers, including our News for Jack's family, handing out these gifts and stuffed animals to people like Cheyenne Harrington's family members. Well, it means the kids can have Christmas. Seriously, the last couple of years have been real hard on a lot of people, and our family especially. So it's real nice that people are nice enough to donate and do all of these things for the less fortunate, and it just really means a lot. To these grateful recipients, they say this event proves that there is still good in this world. It means a lot for my family. Merry Christmas, Channel 4. Reporting in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.